guys, Travis here, Dutter's Dirt Bikes. So today I'm gonna to get into bike selection. Uh, what kind of bike might be best for you if you're looking at getting another bike or if you're new to dirt bikes. So the big question is usually two stroke versus four stroke. Ultimately guys, what I want you to take away from this is listen to what you want because it's all preference. Don't look at what the pros have. Don't look at what your friends have try to decide what you want that's the biggest thing so first two strokes for hard enduro off-road kind of riding yeah uh, two strokes definitely have their advantages but as you've seen in my previous videos i rock the four strokes to me i like them better than the two strokes because they pull harder at low end I got a nice, smooth, even torque curve. I like the back pressure because it helps slow me down a little bit better if I'm blasting through the single track and I'm on off the gas. Uh, but ultimately, I love how four strokes pull. They just pull harder. They don't go wing, ding, ding, vibrate. Uh, I rode two strokes for a long time as well. Um, that's why for me, the, the best happy medium displacement is the 350. I got power, it's not crazy heavy. And guys, the, the big thing that people don't like four strokes for uh, technical off-road is they stall. But with good clutch control, stalling's not a problem. Unfortunately, it's you, not the bike. I see guys jump to the two strokes and kind of help in that they would make them a better rider, but it sometimes can kind of just put a band-aid on so a bad problem of clutch control. Now, on the other hand, if you can handle that power band, if you can put that power band to the ground, which the 300, 200, two strokes are pretty mild on their power band. Yeah, hopping on four strokes is pretty easy. Um, but you also gotta look at the type of riding. Are you doing a lot of motocross? Yeah, dude, the four strokes have dominated motocross. Um, so, now two strokes, obviously, I could totally see their advantages. They are harder to stall. They do lug better, but when they lug, they don't have their pull. They don't have their torque. Even the 302 strokes, you still got to wind them up to get your power. Not as much as the old school 125 and 250s. Absolutely, I'll give them that. Um, and then guys, don't look at what the pros run. They're pros. Some of them get paid to run that bike. And I can almost guarantee that 90% of even hard technical single track riders are not doing the super nasty, super gnarly, just throwing your bike up a freaking hillside, you know. If you see my videos, I ride some pretty gnarly terrain, but not, not nothing like that. I like to have fun. Ride to have fun. What bike are you gonna have the most fun on? The, the two stroke or the four stroke? If, if two stroke suits your needs, go for it. Four stroke suits your needs, go for it. Don't let other guys, you know, skew your, uh, thoughts too much because it's hard because you don't know what bike you really want. So two strokes, lug better, pull less hard. Four strokes can be harder, to, easier to stall, but pull harder, a little more user friendly to ride. And now we get to electric bikes. The electric bikes spank all of them. It literally blows the argument of two stroke versus four stroke right out of the ballpark. Uh, electric whoops them both. There is literally nothing you could say that it can prove otherwise. I've, I got to ride the Stark Varg at North State Power Sports demo days on the motocross track and uh, often some single track. Man, it, ultimate power. Whatever back pressure you want. Um, no clutching, no stalling. Instantaneous zap there. You can't call them lame when you got that kind of crazy power delivery. You know, I'm all for hardcore, old school, dirt bike, manly riding, whatever, but my goal is to have fun. That electric bike was fun and it could conquer anything. So if there's a big debate of the, of the three, two stroke, four stroke versus electric, dude, electric whoops them both, you know? Now, on the other hand, the reason why I haven't bought an electric dirt bike yet is because I am nervous. I trust gas engines better. Uh, if I'm way out in the middle of nowhere, something messes up on an electric bike, you're pretty screwed. Uh, if I run out of gas on this bike, my buddy can pour some gas in. I can go get some gas. If my, 
my electric battery fails, you're really kind of stuck. You're screwed. So because, hey, man, we've all been on those trail rides. We're like, oh, let's go check out that new spot. And you get kind of lost. And now your, you know, three-hour ride turned into a six-hour ride trying to get home. And then your bike runs out of juice. That would really suck. So that's literally the only reason. And Stark Bars are like the Teslas. They're new. They're awesome but there's gonna be some issues that have to be worked out with any new technology so hopefully that kind of helps you guys decide uh your next bike of what you want to get a two-stroke four-stroke or the new electric see ya